no idea if it'll have impact. But we'll send uh, we'll send uh, Adolf Hitler a nice bottle of tequila. Maybe he'll like us more. Oh, British civil workers. Oh, is this India? Yeah. Uh, computing machines done. We've got a boost to electronics, which is nice. We might. Um, I don't necessarily need the ship stuff. We might want to look into the description. In particular, um, there is like in warfare encryption decryption balances is big. But one of the things is at some point we might be not be able to see. Um, the American focus if they get too much like encryption stuff and that would be bad because we need to keep an eye on these guys I think we'll get a pop-up when America's like going to interfere Hitler was a non-drinker. Oh man. Now he's gonna hate us Is the American wall growing so I think their reaction is someone is fabricating or justifying a war against someone we have guaranteed Oh, I have too many things here so we'll start uh, we'll start pulling out a few of these and just put you on the northern border here um so i think that by default the ai will put people there but i don't think they're going to join the war watch this all go terribly terribly wrong some of them tamales they're great oh they are oh and i'm so hungry Make radar facilities. I don't know if radar facilities will increase your chance of seeing the national ideas they're working on. It'll increase the chance of us keeping an eye on their units. And we don't have radar tech right now, nor nor do we have the means to... Oh, hey, our filling factories. Did that just come up? Or have I missed it for a while? Huh. Huh. I mean, we'd love more civilian factories so we can actually continue to develop our infrastructure some more. But I think we're going to have to start working on military. I am tempted, however, to go and I think I'm going to build two infrastructure here to help with the supplies reaching the front a little bit more consistently. Because I think once the battle starts, our, our supplies will be pretty crap. I'm not going to worry about Yucatan so much over here. And then, yeah, I'll, um, there you go. I'll, I'll queue up three military factories in Mexico City itself. How's the war of Europe unfolding? There's not a surprise, there's surprisingly little going on. Well, I mean, I... I guess there is the French-German War. Oh, because Germany joined Bulgaria. This is Czechoslovakia had declared war on Bulgaria and brought Fran France in. So Germany jumped in now. Czechoslovakia is sort of being beat up. Yeah. Oh, they may have, they finished, I guess, the demand Sudetenland, didn't they? Ooh, unknown focus. So maybe that was it too. So, I mean, there's no proper alliance. Oh no, United Kingdom's in the Allies. Right, you're in the Allies, but France is not. They're in the French Entente. Northern steel plants. Okay, so that's done, giving us the factory and the steel. Um, the engineering school just unlocks an industrial concern and a one-time 100% research bonus for electronics, but it's not like we need to get that now. We can't unlock the television innovators because we don't have 50 factories. So what we'll probably do is work our way down here towards, um, I don't know, Legion of Christ and church schools or something like that. That sounds very exciting. So Hefe over here, political power gain, construction speed, all very good. Romania's in the war too. We don't care how the Soviets are doing. Well, anti-fascist diplomacy. Hmm, surprising number of uh, Democrats there. We don't, we're not that interested because we're probably not gonna be influenced by them very much. Uh, same thing with Japan, especially if we're going fascist. I don't know. I guess it depends, like, on on how various things go. What did, oh, September the 1st is when the war was supposed to start, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So there's our, our decryption. We can pick up some encryption as well, but I don't think I prioritize that quite as much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to unlock Recon Company. We're still not making fucking support equipment. Get the radio. Actually, yeah, you're right. We need the radio for the reinforcement rates. And at some point, we'll want to build radar. But yeah, the reinforcement rate bonus is really nice. Hey, there we go. Justification complete. So, mm, let's... I mean, I'm going to save just in case there's a crash, really. But we're not going to go... If the United States jumps in, but they shouldn't. I'm still guaranteed. They should not jump in. Declare war. Send. So we have our battle plan is active. 
Our troops should start moving right away. I could do it manually as well, but no, they're going to start going. They've got full planning bonuses. Oh, airplanes! Yeah, hold on. Uh, let's move the planes to here. Give you a mission over the Yucatan Peninsula. You're going to do air superiority and close air support. Cheers and thank you. Fourth International has just kicked in. What's the blue research thing in the research discount tree? This thing? Bank the bank bank with the Mexico, or something else? I don't know what you mean, uh, Daniel Lansku. Blue research uh, in the tree itself. This? Uh, so these are new ship parts. Basic fire control system, improved one, yada yada yada. These are like these are uh, tools to help your ships aim better. You can now build ships. Go here. Uh, no, not here. So you create ships very much like playing Stellaris now. They've got slots and things like that for you to tune the ships in a bunch of different ways. Later on, we, as Mexico, like we're not showing off the band of guns very well. Well, we are because we're playing a country with a new focus tree, but we're not showing off the new naval stuff very much. We do have a little navy, but we don't even be deployed right now. Got it sit it at home, saving some oil. We're burning oil a little bit now though, because our planes are flying, but overall pretty good. Have to do like the force attack here for even more attack and breakthrough. You know what? Let's go ahead. Spend the command points. Does increase the casualties a bit and can hurt some of the war support at home actually, if, like from, from the deaths. War heroes being killed. Um, but we'll probably punch through this a little bit faster. I think it's going to be worthwhile. Maybe it was dumb. I don't know. Use the Navy to take the Caribbean via Tropico! And who doesn't love hitting buttons? You can see here there's a lot of attrition going on here. We don't actually have the infrastructure built yet. Even if it was, I don't even know if it would be quite enough to support all these troops. But we'll build it anyway. It'll be a little easier to run up and down our country. Jefe Maximo. Done. Lovely. So political power gain, construction speed gain, new political advisor. We can hit control of the army here for some more base stability. Boom. After this war, train your planes. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know how uh, experienced our planes are. Oh, yeah, they're green. Well, this is the best way to train them. <laughs> oh, can I get the revanchism now? Because I had the 40% support? Yeah, okay. We'll do that next. I, I should have done that now, because there's a limited amount of time when you can use it, but yeah. This mountain power regen, very slowly. Technically, you get some extra births. But mostly what you have to do is start changing your laws to recruit more and more people. We're still on the volunteer-only law. We have tons more population we can tap for our military. I think the war will end as soon as we take Guatemala here. Yeah, there we go. So, conquer war goal. End turn. Done. War is over. Hey, we, we took some equipment, which is very nice. We do have some extra dockyards. Um, I don't think we need to pump out more convoys. So, even though we don't have any fancy tech, I think what I'm going to do is I will build some more, um, I don't know, some more destroyers is going to be fine. And I'm actually going to take one of the, uh, the dockyards off the convoy to start building more destroyers. It's going to be fine. Um, the Navy has, um, tools to, like, reinforce automatically and stuff, too. So, I could say with this fleet is, like, listen, I would really like to have two heavy cruisers... And a total of six destroyers, please. And then if you hit this button, oh, which turns on automatically once you set this, uh, this will enable automatic reinforcement. So if ships get built, they'll get put, they'll they'll get added here. Or if there's no request, they'll get added to this reinforcement pool. And then you can manually move them around if you want. Redesign the destroyers with XP. The thing is, we don't have any parts for them. Like as far as I know, there's not going to be any redesigning to do, because we don't have any we don't have any new ship parts promise of peace um not so much i think we don't like running this one because yeah you end up losing yeah you end up lo le losing a lot of stuff so i'm not interested in running promise of peace at all despite the stability boost okay so our units are here what i could have done is i could start a, i sh probably should have in hindsight though is um justified some more wars here because it takes so long honduras El Salvador. Oh, we need more power for that. Okay, that's fine. I should have I should have chained the uh, the generations of stuff. Uh, once they stop moving around, I suspect the attrition will be okay. 
it might be worth pulling out more of these small little um, divisions here. Because we don't need crazy amounts of troops. I'll move some more over here. I like, like, America's just sort of shaking its fist at us. Damn you for causing trouble, but we're not willing to do anything about it. Uh, oh, Guatemala has, like, no infrastructure. That's that's part of the problem, too. If you take a look at our supply area map mode, and if we look here, this will show how things flow from our capital. And one of the numbers somewhere will be in red, and that's where there is a, a bottleneck, a lack of enough stuff to bring troops in. And right now it's talking about the Guatemalan area, and that's because two of them are, are currently damaged. I mean, we might still want to build that up, but we'll wait to see what happens after they're repaired. Um, I guess what I could do is I might want to go and just move the repairs up to the top and see. Uh, how do you raise your fuel cap? You can build extra fuel silos, if you'd like. Um, still going to do this. I really want our stability. Although, I, maybe I should save up points now. I, I think I'm going to stop hitting these buttons. It's going to be okay. Turn this these off. It's going to be okay. And you, and you, and this. We'll save up some points. We'll probably change some of the manpower laws or something. Building boats still costs oil? No, building boats does not cost oil, I think. Yeah, this destroyer is only costing us steel. That's it. You want the Air Force training? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Um, there you go. You guys can train up now. Some of the planes will be damaged. And it'll use some oil, but that's okay. Unassigned divisions. What's going to do with that? Um, how's our equipment list looking right now? Okay, we got some infantry equipment to spare, which isn't too bad. What I could probably do... There we go. Is have more of these training. That's going to be all right. So these are going to be regular infantry divisions. And we'll do this. We do want to make an adjustment to this at some point. Uh, but we don't really have the equipment to support a change at this point. We got five whole support equipment. Train Navy since you have fuel to spare. Um, we train them up a little bit. And right now, we're 1.7 years away from filling up our fuel. Like, it's it's not going to hit the cap anytime soon. Motorized, we definitely want to start building some of that if we've got some more factories. Um, it's on the cusp of 39. I'm going to start researching the new type of, um, of infantry weapons. That's going to be okay. And yeah, we'll add a line in here for motorized. Which is going to be good. Oh, we, uh, so we are starting to do this. Just started recently. We need to take more decisions to give us factories. Or steal some. What happens when you run out of fuel? Yeah, so I, I don't think things stop. They just take massive movement and, and fighting hits. That was real bad. Don't want to run out of fuel. Um... I'll have to remember when the next war starts to go and deploy our planes. Uh, actually, already what I can do is take these planes and move them to the Guatemalan airport. So they'll be closer to the front. Yeah, revanche isn't perfect. Yeah, we'll run this now. Ten more war support. Someone else becomes the leader for the fascist party. So Plut Plutarco y Cales is El Jefe Maximo. So political power gain, political advisor cost. Sounds great. Done. Any fuel producers you can conquer? Venezuela has fuel. So yeah, if we look at the um, resource map mode over here. So we're not getting very many resources going south this way, which is a little bit unfortunate. But when we do reach Colombia, and especially Venezuela, lots more oil over there, which is going to be great. And then mostly what you do, like, there is a limit to how much... Um, oil you can produce or fuel you can produce from oil right now um but most likely right now getting more oil is going to be okay so research slot available uh oh we're gonna keep going down the um our doctrines here probably keep researching that forever how's france holding up good question it's fine right now because it still has this completely impenetrable uh line uh, called the Maginot Line, which obviously will defend France forever. Nothing's possibly gonna ever, ever gonna happen to them that's gonna be bad here. Uh, meanwhile, um, Czechoslovakia, not so uh, not so lucky here. But um, yeah, nothing as ever, bad is ever gonna happen to France, so don't worry about that. 
I mean, what, what are the Germans going to do? Go around the Maginot Line? Pfft. <laughs> uh, settle battle plan. Uh, well, we're going to... Oh, did we start justifying the war goal here? First of all, we have to do that. Um, yeah, so we've got a battle plan set up for Honduras. And yeah, there are some there's some ideas that come later, though, that would give us the free war goal on Guatemala and here and here. Um, but we'll do that. And then there's more, more free war goal generation later on. But we can just generate it. It's fine. I think if we didn't have this dude, right, then it would be a little sucky. Although we are about 50% world tension now, so yeah, now we can go and generate those war goals. You're working on your war plan division. Hold on a sec, just pan have no limit. I believe this leads down potentially some of the intervention and fighting Mexico stuff. Right, no templates used. Support equipment, that's okay though. Yeah, El Salvador's got a fuck ton of divisions for some reason. I don't know, it's like, that's just the way it is. They have tons. We should still be able to do it. Especially as we get these uh, these divisions in the field here, and so we'll get all full strength stuff, but yeah, it's crazy. Is there a hole in Florida? Yeah, it's like, I don't know, some sort of lake? I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, you know? Something, something, not to scale. That is a hell of a hole in Florida. Oh, the King Country, this is actually part of the United Kingdoms. British Honduras over here is part of the UK. So, unless I want to declare against the UK, I've got to leave that be for now. Lake Okeechobee. And yes, it is that big. Can't... Is it? It is the scale? Florida's a donut? Huh. Here be alligators. I plan to deal with the Panama Canal. Well, <clears throat> by the time we reach Panama, we're just going to have to deal with the fact that we're going to be having to fight the US at some point. So yeah, we'll, we'll unify down to Costa Rica, probably, slowly here. And again, we're sort of um, bypassing some ideas, because there's March southward is kind of what we're doing now. And unify Central America is Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama. Um, and who knows, maybe, maybe we'll just keep working in this air, towards this. But yeah, at some point. Um... There you go. Rescind the Mexican secession. This is gains us a war goal for Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and four others. And then reclaim Aztlan. It lets us turn... That's right. It lets us turn Texas, New Mexico, whatever, whatever, into a core. It cores... All of this would be cored territory now. When we get that far. Mm -hmm. Does Mexico have a national ideas for extra factories? We've taken quite a few of them. I wonder how many more there would be. Um, no radio's done. Hold on. Research. There's two more civilian factories. Two more military factories over here. Uh, what we'll probably do, we'll probably go back over here. Because there is a little bit more economy. And it's a, we've got a tech slot over here. Well, we're, we're going to go this way. Oh! I won't be able to grab this if I'm going down the religious branch. Meh. Religious branch it is. And yet, technically, we're not, um, we're not a fascist government yet. We're still technically non-aligned. Which is, with this guy, with his fascist support, I'm surprised it hasn't given us a pop-up. Maybe we didn't get above 50%. Uh, there's a Panama Canal focus. Fortify the canal over here. Builds a bunch of land uh, forts in the Panama Canal. Oh, seize the Panama Canal. So, uh, this we can only do if we're at peace with the U.S. Analog's decision, Operation Just Cause. One of the most critical choke points in the world, this canal was dug at great cost to the Latino workers who bled and died under American whips for the profits of the industrialists. Having captured the surrounding terrain, we can launch a lightning strike in the small canal garrison, forcing the Yankees to choose between waging a bloody war against us or turning over control of the canal. So this could start the war against the US, or they might just give up the canal. Revanchist revolution is done. Excellent. So a few renames and things like that, changes some national spirits. Excellent. This gives us 10% more fascism support. 
We might want to run this, just to get us over the 50%. That being said, I'm kind of eager to go and unlock more technology slots. Wait, how come I can't... Oh yes, we've got to strengthen the church. So if I do this, this will bring us to Assertive Church, which will let me run anti disestablishmentarianism to, this will sort of lock in, like, strong church stuff. Unlock some decisions. And then we can go to Legion of Christ. More fascism support. Sure, sounds good. Let's do this. Woo! <laughs> Don't think your tips are showing up on stream? Uh, no, they have been. Oh, sales trend. Uh, as an anti-spam thing... Uh, it needs to be at least five bucks for it to show up on stream, but thank you very much for that. Um, you should have received more, but we Americans have put you under embargo. <laughs> America's embargoing me. Uh-huh. Uh, German Reich wants some docking rights. Sure, buddy. That's fine. Um, research slot available. It's 39. Oh, which actually means we can do some more factorizing over here. We can get a new political advisor. Oh, yeah, we got some discounts going on here. Um, so we could get the financial expert now. Some of these guys are also unlocked. Trade deal. No, no, no. Yeah, we'll grab you. Reduce consumer goods factories. Do, 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 do. Nice bow ties. Mm -hmm. So Germany... You know, plus 98. I've been improving the relations over here. It's whiskey and chocolate. It's whiskey and chocolate. Whiskey and chocolate. Oh, EE, -E, making some of these? Oh, well, I, I think because on stream, the uh, Hoi people went, um, uh, they went communist. So I wanted to go fascist. Banana Kamana, if you aren't fascist yet, does this mean you're just fash-ish? That's terrible, Banana Kamana. Just absolutely awful, and I love it. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, playing Stellaris right now and having the Hoi 4 music backing up is amazing. Yeah, man, this music's so good. That's one thing the Paradox games do really well. Really, really well. So how are we doing on support equipment now? We've got a whole 60. Yeah, we can't, we can't start putting that into things. Um, what we'll probably do is increase it. Oh, I should take a look at our trade situation. Independent state of Croatia joined the German Reich. Okay, uh, you went, we could import, here, we'll do it from the US. No, from France. We'll import eight steel, because that's actually a fairly nice thing. It does suck to lose the um, the civilian factory, but Italy joins the Axis, but I think we want a little bit more. Oh, also, Merca, you doing anything funny? Intervention in Asia. Go ahead and intervene in Asia all you want, buddy. It's whiskey and chocolate. Be okay with this. More whiskey and chocolate. Uh, fash, fasher, fascist. <laughs> That's good. Uh, it's Capitan Clerk. Boss. <gasps> oh, there you go. It happened. They they went with their black shirts a while ago. And the fact that the um. The British Empire, the fascist British Empire, immediately joined the Axis means that Germany is going to be able to assist in here. Rip United Kingdom and welcome the British Empire. Captain Clerk, holy cow, man. Just made a PayPal account to do this. From Belgium with love! <laughs> oh my god. Belgium exists. I did I did strongly consider doing a, um, a Netherlands run. Um, because they actually have some cool ideas. Okay, the Brits are destroying themselves. Let me close this off here. Um, that was really generous. Uh, and I was gonna, like, over here you've got, um, uh, take back French Flanders. It gives you a, a, a war goal on, uh, anyone, like, anyone who's got a, a certain area, which would be France right now. But presumably along the way you'd be taking, you'd be taking, uh, Belgium. I don't know if there's a specific... Oh, right here! United Netherlands! Gives you an annex war goal against Belgium and Luxembourg. So yeah, all the low countries unite them together, which is kind of amazing. The Brexiters went back in time. <laughs> yeah, so I think the United Kingdom is just ripped here because if if Germ um, if um, yeah Germany is going to be assisted here, Quick India movement. Yeah, it's a good time to, to 
to quit the freaking uh, the UK now. Because I'm assuming Germany's just going to be able to land some dudes over here. I don't know what's going on with the British Navy. Maybe they split it. German Reich formalizes anti-Soviet pact. Well, good for them. Reassert Eastern claims. Oh, yeah. This British Empire. Chomp, chomp, chomp. It'd be nice to have vision. At this point, I'm thinking we should just join the Axis, you guys. They'd say yes. I don't want to be in the war right now, though. But if we find ourselves in a war against the U.S., then we'll certainly Axisify. 100%. Who owns the province next to us? That's a great question. It's the United Kingdom. They still own this. Right now. But, the yeah, United Kingdom has capitulated. The struggle between the British Empire and the United Kingdom was the only small part of the Axis or conflict. The war between the Axis and what reigns of the Allies continues elsewhere. So, it's still considered to be United Kingdom over here. Oh, maybe it just hasn't updated because there shouldn't be... Whoa. There we go. Treaty of Cairo. The United Kingdom was annexed. Yep. We finished our veterans over here. So they've presumably annexed everything, including that. Yeah, yeah, okay. So now it's all British Empire. <laughs> well, if we weren't already going fascist... I mean, at, in hindsight, it's like, oh, maybe it would have been better to go communist or democratic or something like that so we could fight off the fascist threat. On the other hand, hey, we're on the winning side, you guys. So I don't think we got to go down Hispanic Alliance and things like that. Like, it creates a faction and invites a bunch of people into it. Um, which we could do instead of going uh, fascist. Instead of joining the Axis. Like, we could be fascist with our own faction. And maybe we'll do that. But for now, we're going to go down to religious branch here. anti disestablishmentarianism, um, Into rewrite the Constitution. Into Legion of Christ and Crusade Against Atheism. Which just sounds too fun. But more importantly, we can take those church schools over here. Ask the British to hand over Belize. I think there's an option for that somewhere. We'll see. We should also find out if the Germans will be willing to uh, lend us, lease us some tanks at some point. But let's do this for now. Let's get our church schools going on. Civil war in British Empire ends. They weaken themselves significantly. They sure have. All right, US, what are you doing? War plan orange. Which is... Are you attacking?